Is the whole team ready? Shadows chase shadows. Okay. Easy, easy. Now and then a whisper of sliding rope. Oh. Dave, I got me some tension too. The anxious, uneven breathing of 60 people lugging one of their own. I got it. Emily Mobley was at the bottom of the deepest cave this country has ever seen. In a cavern so big, there are explorers at the opposite end that don't even know the four-day rescue took place. Much better. Much the darkness better. would have been total without her friends. They tugged her to the top an inch at a time. Keep on going. One and a half miles. Yeah, I'm fine. You can keep moving. In places, they cushioned her weight with their own bodies and always kept a light for her to see above. Real slow and easy, guys. Emily showed her appreciation with a grin, lit from inside. Um, if I have to break my leg, I can't think of better people I'd rather be around. On three. One. The ordeal below did not build character, but it revealed it. What matters down there are energy, muscle, and will, qualities her friends have in abundance. Otherwise, she might not have survived. Okay. Be taken care of now. They are all expert cavers. As long as they don't step on my leg, I'm fine. So is Emily. She was mapping this new cavern when a loose rock started this test of friendship. Pals came from all around the country. A cry of need seems to carry further in darkness. Or perhaps we listen closer. Am I excited? You bet I am. Finally, the light above did not need batteries. Cheer for everybody! Emily's friends felt as old as thick mud. Nearly 100 hours in that pewter world. We were real pleased to get her out alive, get her out in one piece. It was real special to all of us. Deep within themselves, they had discovered the people they wanted to be. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Carlsbad, New Mexico.